TV, we strongly believe that Jebra is a wonderful place to live. From the Abbey to the Castle Jail, we explore some of the places that make Jebra so great. This monastery was originally built in the late 12th century. It, over the years, it has been destroyed by invading English armies and rebuilt many a time. Here, this is clearly evident. Jebra Abbey was founded by King David I of Scotland in 1118. It was originally used as a church, but soon rose to the status of a monastery. Being located so close to the border with England at this time, the abbey was subject to multiple damaging attacks. The building continued to be used as a church despite its deteriorating condition, until in 1871, the building was deemed too unsafe for worship and a new church was built. This area used to be what was known as the Chapter House, where the canons used to conduct most of their sales and businesses to the local community. I'm currently standing in the east processional doorway of Jebra Abbey. From here, you can admire the wonderfully detailed artwork that went into the making of this abbey. From here we can see the evidence of where the abbey was destroyed and attacked and rebuilt many a time. Inside you get a great sense of the absolute vastness of this once great monastery. I am here in the nave where you can see some of the magnificent gothic arches that was used in the abbey's original design. This form of architecture was rather cutting edge for its time. Here I stand in the west processional doorway. You can see the stonework here looks incredibly much more modern than in the east. That was because it was restored in the 19th century. The men who lived here were known as Augustinian canons, different to monks. Canons wore black robes, like this one, and they often lived as part of the community. However, monks, like these two, wore brown robes and often lived in isolation. 